Hello friends, welcome to your own channel on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. We are learning Apache Airflow, how to build data pipelines using Apache Airflow. As part of the entire playlist, we have learned a lot of things. In this part of the video, we are going to learn sub DAGs, task groups and parallel processing. Let's start with a small code. This is a code. Here you can see some of the basic packages which we have been importing. I have imported a new package task group which we are going to use. Before task group we had a package for sub DAG. However, sub DAGs are now deprecated because of some issues which were related to the way code was written in sub DAGs. Here is the documentation Apache Airflow documentation website task group versus sub DAGs and as you scroll and read you will see sub DAG is deprecated hence task group is the preferred choice sub DAG as the name suggests DAG within a DAG is a sub DAG task group as the name suggests a group of task a group of task within the task flow the DAG flow is a task group so both of them mean the same however because one package has been deprecated they have used another terminology task group and this is the preferred choice now while creating DAG inside a DAG okay having given the brief outline this is the code where I am creating a number of dummy operators and you can see these dummy operators have been sequentially placed. The name of the DAG is example task groups. So let me visually show you the screen how it looks like. Here is the layout of the DAG flow. As you can see the task will execute sequentially start task a a1 b c d e f g end this is how the task would get executed if we required only sequential execution of the task then i think we don't require airflow Airflow in that case is just orchestrating and giving you a visual depiction. One of the important feature of Airflow is if we have certain steps to be executed and some of them can be parallelly executed, Airflow helps you write the logic, the task DAG flow, you can write it such that you can have parallel processing. This is what we are going to learn as part of the session and how we create sub DAGs using task group package. So let's now modify this code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple task group. Here is the code. Let me come uncomment it. So a simple task group within another uh, within outside DAG is what I can say a task group inside a task group okay so let me comment these dummy operators because the logic of them is now moved within the task group We are using the task group package. We are giving a name to this task group, a tooltip, and I have named this as GR1. 
okay this flow will have to be commented and this will now be our new flow so here you can see the difference is a a1 b and c are replaced by a group one so this group one comes here within the task group you would note that I have suggested A1 should be preceded by A. B and C, I have not made any mention that they should be preceded by what. As a result, B and C are part of this group 1. They would be preceded by start. A would be preceded by start. A1 would be preceded by A task. Let us save this. This is not saved the dot is showing that it is not saved so control s let me save it and here we refresh this workflow you can see the airflow dag here you have this a a1 coming up i click on it it blows up and it shows that task a is preceded by start task b is preceded by start and task c is also preceded by start this is our task group i click on it it becomes smaller task a a1 will be executed in parallel with task b and task c okay we now move further and do nesting of the task groups so i'll comment this part of the code i'll even comment this and make necessary changes here so this entire piece of code i uncomment it i'm now creating two groups and because i have moved e f g and d dummy operators in this task group i'll have to comment it from here so we now just have start and then a task group oh g r1 this will remain this piece of code will remain this is my first task group. The flow has to be commented. Then this is our another task group. We are calling it GR2. Within this, let me also add G here. Within this task group, there is another sub task group. Okay. So this is our flow a task group inside a task group here i am saying f would be preceded by e g would be preceded by e this task group will be in parallel with this task group and both of this basically this task group where we are naming it sgr2 will be in parallel with d and they are all part of group so let us save this code and now see the structure of the DAG. Let's refresh it and let's open, blow it up. So here you can see we have start, then this is our group one, which we have already understood. Then this is group two. We have showed group two has to be preceded by group one. Within group two, we have a task group which is EFG so let me blow it up F and G we specifically showed here that F and G should be preceded by E and this is how we have nesting of the task groups task group helps you create DAG inside a DAG task group helps you help you create parallel processing of your ETL process. I hope you enjoyed this video and this helps you now create parallel processing DAGs with 
sub DAGs in it using the task group functionality. Thank you. See you in the upcoming video. Till then, bye bye.